Hey there. Welcome to Getting to Know. It's a show where you get to know more about people I think are interesting, and maybe you will too. If you want to keep up and see me stream live, you can follow my Twitch right here, or you can tell me to go fuck myself. Thank you. Um, Wilbur, how long have you been playing music for? Uh, two and a half years. Three years. Three years now. Three years. Yeah, wait, you've just been playing music for just three years? Yeah. Three years ago, I'd never picked up an instrument. And you learn how to play guitar that like that fast, and you're pretty good at it. Thank you. I just I just sat in my room <laughs> for yeah. a long time. <laughs> I uh, I, don't know. I st yeah I started when I was almost twenty one, like just before my twenty first birthday. Holy shit! And what like what got you into it? Like why did you want to learn how to play guitar? Uh, I, well I, I worked at a convenience store at that point in my life i was 21 all my friends were like at university yeah. or like working a proper job you know well not that the convenience store isn't a real job but at the time i was very self-conscious and didn't think it was a real job at all and um and uh, yeah i was I, I went through a very bad phase of my life at that point i i, I sort of you know i also worked the night shift mm -hmm. so i was waking up when the sun was setting yeah and then falling asleep when the sun rose and um Basically, the way I got through it was playing a lot of music. I I played about ten hours a night wow. in my room. Yeah, and I just sat there and it's I I self taught and I just sort of whacked on it and whacked it out. You know, it's right. not right. whacked it off, but whacked right. it out. And that's and, a, that's a that's a British term, right? For like learning, yeah, just like doing it. You know, yeah, Start just whacking, whacking it, it. Yeah. Whack it, not just yeah. whacking it. Yeah, just I know what that it. means, Gary. They should rename. They should rename just chatting on Twitch to just whacking it. That's what they should do. Hanging out with Wilbur Sut on just, just whacking, whacking it. it. Just a couple bros whacking it together. Live on Twitch, it's just whacking it with Wilbur Sut. Why That's not? Fuck right. it. They should. I'd host, I'd host just whacking it. <laughs> no, we yeah, wouldn't, we wouldn't last a day on the platform. But anyway, go ahead. What are you gonna say? But no, I just it's um if you if you if anyone listening is planning on just learning guitar, it's 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 not as daunting as it sounds. Like it sounds very and I know I'm coming from a place of someone who knows how to play, yeah. but like all I did was there's a website called Ultimate Guitar, mm -hmm. uh, which is just like a big list of other people write chords and like tab sheets for songs that exist yeah. any song you can think of more or less like any song you like even the most obscure band you like will be on that right and i just sat down with a guitar i brought up a bunch of songs i liked and would mm -hmm. like to learn and then i just sat there and just and if you hover over all the little chord letters mm -hmm. it tells you where to put your fingers oh, on the shit, guitar really yeah and i just sat there and just did that for hours and hours day in day out I, I didn't know it was that I've wanted to learn how to play play guitar for a while. My brother plays guitar and I've always been I I don't know, I've always wanted to play like I like um like nineties alternative rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know like yeah. Radiohead and like the Smashing yeah, Pumpkins yeah. and shit like that. I've yeah. always wanted to learn how to play that music and be that guy. Yeah, man. But well, Ra Radiohead's very fun to learn. Like um flake fake plastic trees. Yeah. Really easy song, really easy song to play. You could do that in an afternoon if you if you've sat there for a while and just figured it out, you know. It's you, like um, Sorry. Do you only play acoustic, or do you play electric or anything like that? No, I, I play acoustic. I play electric. I play bass. Uh, I play the lute and the mandolin. What the hell is the lute? Uh, you know, like the old-fashioned, like Skyrim. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're a bit of a um, you're a bit of a pilgrim, huh? You can... I'm, I'm no good at it, <laughs> but yeah. I can. And I played the double upright as well, the big one. And, wow. Um, and ukulele, but. I play baritone ukulele. You've had a few different songs come out. The mm -hmm. the Nice Guy Ballad, The mm -hmm. Internet Ruined Me, which I just listened mm -hmm. to. I Am Very Smart. Oh, I don't like that one. That's why? my least favorite. Wait, why? It's not very good. I wrote it in an afternoon. <laughs> Sometimes those are the best things, though. Yeah, not yeah. this one, though. <laughs> uh, another one was Karen, Please Come Back, I Miss the Kids. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. one is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like thank that. You. Um, and then, uh, this one that's kind of like obscure, but it's called the squid song and you wrote it when you were a kid. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck did the idea for the squid song come from? Because that one like blew me away when I heard it. It was like, what is this? Uh, so when I was a kid, I used to have a Minecraft channel. Yeah. 
uh, which you can still find. All the videos are still up. It's mm -hmm. uh, Minecraft and Donuts. You can type in. It's yeah, there. yeah. But it's, um, uh, I used to do that. And uh, I decided to celebrate hitting 50 subscribers. Oh. I would write a song. So I took uh, the instrumental of one of my one of my favorite musicians when I was a kid. I took an instrumental of one of his songs and just wrote some lyrics over it. Who, who, who was that? Who's that artist? Uh, Jonathan Coulton. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Have you played Portal? Yeah. Yeah, he wrote Still Alive. He wrote the ending credits music for both the Portals. Oh, wow. And uh, he also did uh, like Left for Dead. He did like the music and stuff. He's mm -hmm. he's he's a he's like a. I'm really into comedy music, like super into comedy music. I'm obsessed. I love it. And Jonathan Colton was like my first comedy musician that I got into. So that and like the what is what else is there? Like Tenacious D. Yeah, the Tenacious D are good. Yep. Uh, there's loads of comedy musicians. So. When did you start putting your music on Spotify? Like last month, I think. Last month, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you feel about that so far? Because it seems like there's a lot of people that listen to you every month. Yeah, it's the, the my comedy stuff I'm fine with. Uh I just I, I released a um I released a serious album uh of actual songs that I'd written over the past two and a half years. And I'm not a fan of it at all. <laughs> Is that your city gave me asthma? That's the one, yeah. Okay. I'm not very proud of it. It's it's like the thing I know everyone loves it and that's why it's up, you know, because people it means something to people. Yeah. The, the basically I, I just I think I can do way better now. Uh lyrically it's pretty good, but my guitar playing is sloppy, the mixing and producing's bad, my voice is a lot worse because a lot of them are recorded like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And like I've improved quite a lot. So, I mean Internet Ruined Me was recorded two months ago that yeah. gives you any perspective i think i did pretty good on the vocals for internet ruined me the mixing's bad i'm too far forward but yeah. aside from that you know i'm learning all the time so it's like well, that, that's but, all that um, matters, yeah, it's all yeah but like news. with with your city gave me asthma it's like i always think back on the there's a there's a there's a line from a band i like called ttng and they've got a song and the song is about writing songs it's a song about writing music yeah. and one of the things they say in it is um What's it? Uh, you, your words likely have less merit than the timbre of their sound. So sing anything you feel like and don't let it get you down. Oh, that's and that's pretty much, it's pretty much saying like, you know, it, your music's not about you. It's about what you're saying. It's about yeah. the sound you're making, you know? So don't worry about, you know, if you don't like it because it's not about you. It's not. So when I think of my, that album, I don't, I, it makes me cringe when I hear it. And when people talk about it, I'm always very thankful and stuff. I mean, my, the, the fans got it trending on Twitter when I released it. Right. And I didn't even announce it. I didn't even, they just, they just figured it out, which is incredible. And like, I'm super grateful to them. But like, I don't like it. And I'm not like my own worst critic because I definitely can tell when I've made something that I think is good. Yeah. And that I can tell is not something that I think is very good. <laughs> But it means something to people, and yeah. that's why I'm happy it's out there, and I'm happy they can, they can enjoy it. Are you are you colder, warmer? I'm the other way around now. I'm getting warm. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say the uh, the the really interesting thing about like your style of music is it reminds me of like my like emo sad boy days back in like high school, pretty much. And I'm still in it. no, and no, no, no. It's not a bad thing. It's it's like that's that's the kind of music that made me like really. I don't know, kind of learn more about myself, I guess. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. and I, and I was very appreciative of that time because there were so many good, um, so many good moments that came from mm -hmm. that time too. And that's, that's why, cool. like, I love my high school experience is a little bit different, even though I had an Afro and I wore Ghostbusters, uh, hoodies and wore Jenko jeans. You probably don't even know what Jenko jeans are, do you? No, I'm going to send you a pair in the mail, but, Jenko <laughs> jeans. I, I look. I was a fucking loser. But like, I had some of the best moments of my life that I can remember when I was that young. So, um, yeah. and I. That's why I listened to your song. And I said earlier, I was like, I played one of your songs, and my mod was like calling me a simp. I was like, I'm not a fucking simp. It was like, I I like his style. Like your voice naturally, without singing, is is great. It's kind of comforting, Thank right? You. And then like your guitar play is like on point. So I I did like your music and. I'm, I think you should keep doing it. So. Yeah, I, I, I've got another one coming out soon. Uh, the third installment in my e-girl series. Really? Yeah, so it's, I'm in love with an e-girls part one. Internet ruined me's part two, and I've got a third part coming what? out soon. Is that coming out like in the next few weeks or? Uh, a bit longer, I think, probably months. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's still in the, I've got the tune. I've got 
most of the lyrics down i just haven't done any recording or anything yet you know yeah it's called it's called your new boyfriend so far oh cute it's, it's, that's the name in that's the working title uh and it's, it's very it's, it's it's like quite long it's like a musical almost there's like oh. a back and forth between and there's like a reprise and stuff oh, shit. <laughs> yeah it's yeah i'm pretty happy with it but Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate that. I also have a Twitch where everything here is filmed live. So feel free to follow me there at twitch.tv forward slash Joe, or follow me on Instagram or Twitter in the description below. Thanks.